to the encouraging word of today. Today is Tuesday, March the 30th. We're going to pick up here in the wonderful encouraging word of God once again, 1 Peter chapter 4. And uh, as we think about what he said yesterday, <laughs> that the end of all things is at hand, how are we ought to live? For uh, many times we can ask ourselves the question that if, if the Lord God told you that tomorrow at 3 o'clock he was coming back and it would all be over, how would your life change from now until 3 o'clock tomorrow? How, how would you react and how would you be knowing that God was coming in that moment? Well, he sums that up for us here. He said, it, be sober, be watchful, be under prayer for the, all things, the end of all things is at hand. And then he said these words. He said, above all things, have fervent charity amongst yourselves or fervent love or fervent care for one another amongst yourselves. Certainly the body of Christ ought to care for one another and love one another in a way that the world cannot understand, cannot fathom, cannot fashion themselves to because they don't know the love of God. And those who have received the love of God are the only ones who can share the love of God. And so he says, certainly writing to the church, he says, man, listen, he says, above all things, have fervent charity amongst yourselves because the Lord is at hand. The end of all things is almost here and you ought to love one another. And that's what he said, by, by the way you, they'll know you're my disciples by the way you love one another. And so that's what he says, man, amongst yourselves, you ought to have fervent charity for charity or love shall cover the multitude of sins. And so love overpowers sin. Love overcomes sin in the end. And so not only that, but then he says, verse nine, use hospitality one unto another without grudging. In other words, serve one another, not just love one another, but serve one another. As the Bible would say that we're to think about the concerns of others more than the, more than ourselves. And that's a hard thing to do in life. And many times we don't live up to that, but we can ask God, forgive us, Lord. We, we didn't love like we should have. We didn't use the hospitality like we should have. Please forgive us and help us to do better. Please help us, Lord, to love one another. We want to glorify your name. And so he says, do, the, do it with hospitality. And in verse 10, as every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one unto another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. God has, that salvation gives everybody gifts, and, and it's, the gifts come by the Holy Spirit, and, uh, and, and you have spiritual gifts, not just physical gifts. Many people just want to do what they feel comfortable doing physically, but God says, when I've given you my spirit, every single one of you have been shaped and formed in such a way that when I pour my spirit into you, it's going to cause you to have a special gift that you can use for the glory of God. And so he says, verse 11, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Don't, if a man, any man stands in and, and speaks about God, he ought to use the words of God, not make up his own ideas or own things. He ought to speak the oracles of God. He's given us that by his spirit. And then he says, if any man minister, let him do as of the ability which God giveth. Now, why? Why should these be doing this? Well, notice what it says. That God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ. That God may be glorified. And that's why he comes along and says, whatever you do, whether you eat or drink or in word and deed, do it all to the glory of God. Everything in our lives ought to bring glory to God. Now, certainly... I know that there's sometimes in my life when I don't bring God glory, I do just the opposite. I diminish God's glory uh, with my temper or my attitudes or my, my thoughts or, or my actions. But um, God's Spirit's there and, and He does bring conviction and, and He does warm us over and He does bring us to that place like David said, Oh Lord, against thee and thee alone have I sinned. Cleanse my heart, wash me, and I shall be clean. Uh, that's where we need to be. We need to be loving and and serving and ministering to one another while we wait for the glorious sun from heaven to come and to relieve us all. And so I pray today that as you go forth, you find a way to love, to serve, and to minister to those around you for the glory of God, because all things are at hand. And so I pray you go forth today mildly in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and be encouraged. He could be back any moment.